Elon Musk is trying to expand Tesla's value chain. Tesla is studying the feasibility of a lithium hydroxide refinery on the Texas Gulf Coast. The facility would be the first of its kind in North America. This is an important thing for Tesla. While many old guard car manufacturers are still working favorably to electrify their product range and implement their software plans, Tesla is taking the next step. Due to the enormously increased uh, prices for the raw materials, lithium company boss Elon Musk simply wants to build a lithium hydroxide refinery on the Texas Gulf Coast himself. Not long ago, Elon Musk hinted that Tesla might move into large-scale lithium refining. Remember that? The reason? Prices for lithium hydroxide, a key component in the manufacturing of electric batteries for Tesla cars. And they have already risen by 120% this year, according to an index from Benchmark Mineral Intelligence. Friends, if Tesla's Texas application is approved, construction of the refinery could begin as early as the fourth quarter of 2022. That means by the end of this year. The project is then scheduled to start commercial operations in the fourth quarter of 2024, in two years. The electric car maker would then process raw ore material into a condition usable for battery production and then ship the lithium hydroxide to various Tesla battery factories around the world now. With the construction of a lithium hydroxide refinery, Tesla would expand the value chain. That's the key for this report. From a technical point of view, the short-term chart uh, picture has brightened significantly. The important 200-day line is $295. Well, it was broken. The next resistance stands at $315 for Tesla stock. Although, friends, I'm not in the stock market, and I don't. Uh, this is not uh, a advice to buy or sell Tesla stocks. Tesla Giga Berlin has a new big target. Giga Berlin aims to produce 5,000 cars per week by quarter one 2023. Tesla had an open event in Grünheide yesterday on September 11. At Sunday's event, the company talked to local employees about Giga Berlin's water usage and the car factory's environmental and water protection protocols. Tesla also provided information on the factory's road and rail infrastructure, forest conversation, uh, actually forest conversion, battery cell production, and training studies at Giga Berlin. Tesla shared that Giga Berlin's production ramp was going quote-unquote very well. In June, Tesla announced that Giga Berlin produced 1,000 units in a week. According to the German press agency DPA, Tesla Giga Berlin aims to reach now 5,000 cars by the beginning of next year. 5,000 Model Y electric cars. Tesla's water consumption is another issue at Giga Berlin. Tesla wants to reduce Giga Berlin's water consumption even further. It is particularly focused on reducing fresh water consumption. Currently, Giga Berlin consumes about 2.2 cubic meters, which is 264 gallons of fresh water per one electric car. Its water consumption already accounts for Tesla's planned in-house battery production line in Germany. That amount of water, I think, amounts to about taking eight showers. Tesla stated that the auto industry's average fresh water consumption is about four cubics, uh, cubic meters, 1,056 gallons, as per ACEA water consumption in EU car production has decreased by 30% since 2006. As of July 2022, automakers used 3.76 cubic meters of water per vehicle. As you can see, Tesla's 2.5 is far less. And consider Giga Berlin's Model Y transportation. Tesla is working hard to make the commute to Giga Berlin accessible for employees. At the beginning of the year, Tesla shared plans to run a shuttle train between Erkner and the new stop south of Giga Berlin's grounds for workers. During Tesla's Giga Fest, Elon Musk talked a little about a train station. They can use that train station and the train also to transport Model Ys. But in this case, he said, and then it's just a 30-minute train ride to Berlin. We're actually going to be building a train station where you can literally just, ironically, for a car company, you know you could just take the train. You can also take your car. That's fine, too, Musk said at that time. Friends, uh, at Sunday's Open Door event, Tesla announced that the train shuttle to Giga Berlin could open in spring 2023. So we'll look forward and we'll bring you the latest on that.
Imagine a situation where there are no car accidents anymore on our roads. And now Tesla wants to completely prevent crashes with its autopilot. Autonomous driving is the future. Tesla is convinced of that. The electric car manufacturer is constantly working on the further technical development of automotive driving functions with occupancy networks. The company has now formulated a very ambitious, um, ambitious goal, especially with the occupancy network. According to the electric car manufacturer, Tesla's full self-driving, it's known as FSD, that software offers intelligent performance and control functions to enable a new level of safety and autonomy. The range of functions is continuously being expanded with the aim that all Tesla vehicles will be completely autonomous in the future and that the occupants will not have to intervene in the driving process. Level 5 driving. When fully autonomous driving is possible, even Tesla's internal options seem to differ. But While Tesla CEO Elon Musk wanted to have uh, bring the first fully autonomous Teslas to the market by the end of 2022 and had to postpone the goal, the head of the autopilot team at Tesla, Ashok Eliuswamy, cannot provide a specific date for the first full autonomous Tesla vehicles on the streets. However, recently the full self-driving expert gave an insight into the future possibilities of the software on YouTube and Twitter. Occupancy networks could prevent Tesla crashes completely. How? In a video showing his appearance at an autopilot team workshop at the Conference on Computer Vision and Pattern Recognition in New Orleans, Eliuswamy spoke about occupancy networks designed to give Tesla vehicles a feel, to give the vehicle environment. By the way, I will have that uh, video's link in the description of this video for you to see. Humans have the ability to understand the objects around them at all times. Is the car on the road moving slowly or fast? As a pedestrian, do I have enough time to cross the road before I'm hit? What is the middle of the road street? What's falling, failing out of the sky? I should get out of the way. Should I get out of the way? These are occupancy networks. These rec uh, scenarios and split-second decisions are natural for humans. Tesla's autopilot team is working on programming the vehicles to do the same. With occupancy networks, vehicles should be able to correctly recognize the vehicle environment. This is to be made possible with the help of cameras installed on uh, all around the car, which not only depict the current environment, but which also used to make a prediction of what environment will look like in the future and where the vehicle can therefore move safely. For example, occupancy networks should be able to recognize the speed at which objects are approaching and on this basis determine a safe radius of movement for the Tesla vehicle. In addition, the vehicle can see around the corner. That's great improvement, right? Eliuswamy has such a high expectation of the system that he even promises that occupancy networks could completely prevent accidents in the future. The full self-driving functions that are already available would already prevent around 40% accidents a day, especially those that occur when parking or maneuvering. Tesla is working with occupancy networks to expand these functions so that they could also be used in more complex scenarios. Approaches that have been typical up to now, such as image space segmentations or free space or pixel by pixel, that still have problems here. The solution to these problems are occupancy networks. The expert is convinced. Now let's look forward when Tesla will introduce the occupancy networks and how it can expand so we have no accidents on our roads when driving electric cars.